Also, so what I want to do is um, save all the missions for last, because those are the ones that like I want to make sure are in the episode. The rest are just like random things that happen. I give it something funny, then I'll put it in. Uh, just to make it easier during the editing. So we'll go around and get our uh, intel first. These are bad guys. Keep driving, keep driving. We can't stay here. This is bad country. That's the last time you drive anywhere. I walk it back to House of Fail, the gift that keeps on. I don't know. So, what's on our to do list today? Today, we're going to this area, which is uh, more water based. And when we finally get there, we can load up the uh, intro movie and make fun of it. Habier Coronel Bayardo, which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. His main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sonny everything. Must resist Donald Trump joke. Let's hear that Carzita does what Carzita does best. Making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint. She just went to rehab for saying something racist. Kellyanne Conway? Fuck, I couldn't help myself. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before, and it's on you to stop it. We cut the connections, we stop the corruption. So much corruption. Such a crooked man. God damn it! Okay, so we're gonna take down Kazita. Alright, so this game is uh, about a Mexican drug cartel that goes into a country and takes it over. Is this like Donald Trump's fan fiction? I'm sorry the jokes keep writing themselves. Alright. Looks like there's nobody around him. Alright. Did you just kill that guy? Did you just kill the guy we came to here to interrogate? The guy who we now cannot interrogate because you just shot him in the head that was going to tell us everything. I thought it was him. Because he had the eye above his head! Not on my screen, he didn't. Well, he did on my screen. Oh, well, he didn't talk? Tell me. Because you shot him before I could say anything! Well, we both had something here, didn't we? Yes. Alright, here's the lesson I want you to take away from this experience. Don't shoot anyone until I tell you the plan. When you hear the plan, then the shooting can begin. Because when you start shooting, before the plan, suddenly, the mission goes belly up and we have to do more busy work. We have an intel cache this time, so we don't have to worry about you shooting this one at least. Thank you. Let's take out the rest of them. I threw a grenade against the wall. Alright, stop. This guy here, don't kill him. No, you can't. Stop wasting our time. Get in the boat, they're about to see us. Get in the boat. Can't get on the boat. Why won't it let you on the boat? Alright, you're gonna have to hassle half it. So many golf courses here. We should come on holiday after we finish killing everyone. Three, two, one, now. Alright, let's get that boat. I think that was one of our most effective sink shots. See? When we have a countdown, it's good. Well, we don't need a countdown, it's just that you're a bit of a pissy bitch. It's like, it's, it tells me on my screen if you're, like, aimed at the guy. Doesn't mean I'm ready, I could be, like, looking at my phone or something. Why would you be looking at your phone if you're about to shoot a guy? That's how- how is it my fault if you're deciding to look at your phone? I think that Kazita sounds like a mexican theme Transformer. <laughs> Kazita, roll out. No. No. <laughs> you think of the maid from Family Guy? No Autobot here. 
I was thinking more along the lines of like a, a robot that's like in the Mexican flag while wearing a sombrero. Carzita, can you take out the Decepticons? Okay, Atomus, I can take out the Decepticons. We made a huge mistake by creating you. All right, so we wanna we wanna sneak in here, uh, do the thing without being detected. So I think it's probably best if you keep Overwatch yeah, using the drone. Yeah, if you, yeah, do you have a noisemaker attached to your um, uh, drone? All right, if you equip that, you could probably use that to direct people if you need to. We can't be detected if they're already dead. But they can detect the dead bodies. But not if they're all dead. You can't kill all of them at once. If you would have, we would never have any problems in this game. But we are constantly plagued by problems. Sometimes caused by people killing people. Are you starting to see what the cause okay, of our problems might away. be? I would like to say I can take out two, but probably miss. How about we don't risk it, so we don't have to play the level again? Uh, number one, still by escape. Number one's walking away. It'll be fine to go. And we made a clean escape. And I am dead. <laughs> Graceful like the soft humped moose. Such a graceful spy. It was going so well. We infiltrated, you were like relaying information about me, it was like we weren't working as like a proper spy team. <laughs> and then you'll jump off a cliff. Mission done, I'm no longer needed. It's like that one at James Bond movie where like he's having like cues and like, alright Bond, there's enemies around the corner, and then James Bond like slips and breaks his neck. <laughs> Like Johnny English. <laughs> we are the ultimate Johnny English team. Yeah, if you get close to it, this one could be done with a drone. Okay, I wish just come, but can I get close enough? There you go. There you go. I don't want to get seen. Uh, can you get the butt a bit closer? Thank you. A little bit closer. Got him. Oh god! We can never speak about what we just saw. We can never speak of it. All right, now we need to locate this guy and take him out, which is where you come in as our team sniper. Should be able to see the guy from here. Eyes oh, in a level level right now. Do you see him? I no. I can't see him. I can take out the sniper. Uh, leave the sniper for now. Guys, which way are they going? Don't to try and get them? Can you see the yellow dot? You got it. Alright, let's get to the cargo. I think we could call that a, that was a successful assassination. You know, you couldn't find the stairs. <laughs> we had to change the plan slightly, but it, we didn't blow it. Alright, next part is going to be a survival mission. Uh, first step is to clear yeah. out the entire hotel. But if we put cars in the doorway. Ah, oh, shit. I got in a car that was too close. Okay, let's focus on the mission. Don't you think the VIPs are convinced this place is unsafe? Just a little longer. Get upstairs. I'm gonna plug my mind real quick. Shit! Ah! Alright, stay alive, stay alive. Now I can respawn. Oh, I respawned in a very inopportune place, out in the middle of the car park, where all the enemies are. Uh, nobody, I don't think it's because they can get in. Oh, fuck me. Oh. 
I panicked, ran into an SUV, and threw a flashbang grenade. I keep spawning outside. You realize I'm probably just going to respawn right in front of everybody again, and then I'm going to die again, and then we'll have to do the entire thing again. How is that cool? Is a potential stalemate. We'll never get anything done. Okay, I'm up. I spawned. Yeah, bye, everybody. Jokes on them, I have flashbangs. Drive! I died again! Armist, this is never going to end. <gasps> no! <laughs> so an explosion from the window, you okay? <laughs> yes, my grenade bounced back. One. I'm back. The same place again. Of course they see me. Why won't they see me? Don't shoot me until I'm out! Oh, damn it! I can't do anything! I spawn out in the middle of the open where everyone is. There's one asshole on a cliff who keeps shooting me in the back. If it wasn't him, everyone would be in front of me. Alright, I'm gonna spawn again. Oh, this one's loading this time. And it's the same place again, okay. Oh, the chopper saw me. Uh, run! Oh, who sh- God damn it! <laughs> I can't do anything. I thought that was my time, but nope, helicopter wouldn't have it. Why does it spawn me here? It's the worst possible place. Where do people keep coming from? I don't know. Is this is this is this limbo? It feels like it. You perpetually trapped on top of a building, and me cursed to endlessly spawn into a car park full of enemies. Oh, thank Christ. He's following you! Oh, where is he? Hey, where is he? Hey, buddy. Um. I hear them. Oh, God, behind me, behind me. I see him. Ha <laughs> ha! All of them! Oh, he's on the clear! Yeah, he is! You know we don't have to do this, but at this point it's personal. Come on. <laughs> Let's go and never come back to this place again. The holy door's getting a bad review. Alright, so we're gonna destroy all the gambling machines in the casino. Oh, I have a plan. Oh, Very damn it. Good plan. Yeah. What is your plan? Da 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 Go helicopter, go! <laughs> yeah, missed. Right, I'm on the roof. I got him taken down. My head is one with the wall now. There's been two missions that I've spent most of it dead. I'm much more wall now than man. Twisted and evil. Out, please. We're doing some renovating. Get out, get out, get out. Leave. Leave. This woman won't leave. Get out. Oh, no. Right, get out. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, now we found the Kazita. Hell yeah. They can ruin the day that he betrayed the Autobots. Alright, so we need to grab this guy and interrogate him. Uh, that minigun guy over there. There's one above you, but you shouldn't be able to see you. Watch out for number one. Ah, they're playing shitty rave music. The worst crime of all. <coughs> Get him. Yeah, we've broken him yet. Let me know if they get too close. Ah! Oh, Sam, this is bullshit! I want to talk to my lawyer! Lawyer? We're in the big leagues, asshole. I want a list of names of everyone who's ever visited your little resort. I don't know, man. Te lo juro. All right, fine. You didn't get this from me, but all the guest info stored on a server, okay? Hey, great party, right? <laughs> all right, catch around, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, sir. So uh, I'll see you around, all right, big dog? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never want to see any of those people again. That was so awkward. Right now, we need to look at server. 
And then we'll have to defend it, so we're probably best taking everybody out first. They're planning on charging us while mortaring us. <laughs> what is this? The British Army during World War I. <laughs> High five. <laughs> we're all going to die. Hey, did you hear the Pentagon had too many generals, so they decided to get rid of some of them? It's about damn time. Well, somebody yeah. with the Joint Chiefs came up with the idea of offering $10,000 of severance pay for each inch of the general's body. The general's and... any way yeah. they chose. An Air Force general goes first. And... He's a smart guy, so he says he wants to be measured yeah. from head to toe. They measure him and come up with 70 inches, so he accepts a severance of $700,000. Next up was an Army general. This guy says he wants to be measured from the tip of his and... right finger to the tip of his left finger. The measurement comes out to 80 inches. The army general smiles and takes a severance of $800,000. So the two generals are mighty damn pleased with themselves. But this marine general's been watching the whole thing. And after a couple minutes, he steps up and says, You pure to me from the tip of my dick to the bottom of my balls. Man, right. marine generals are kinky. The, the men doing the measuring are confused. Sir, are you sure you understand how this works? Just do it, maggot! The marine general barks. And then okay. he uh, yeah, you can start. Alright. Wait, I want to hear how this joke ends. Courage, and they get to work. So they start at the tip of his dick, but as they work their way down, they see the general's got no balls. Plot twist. One of the men says, Sir, where are your balls? Left and back in Vietnam. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny because he has no testicles. I've got a snipe on the chopper. I'll try and get it. One down. Got it. Not the smartest pilot. This gun's good for taking down vehicles and stuff. Light machine gun. Do you have that bling bling one? Yep. Well, that went well. Yeah, very well. I'm proud of this. It's like we know what we're do doing. He had a bit of a rocky start, but I definitely feel like we really pulled it together. And I got this gaudy uh, light machine gun that Amish likes so much. It's a good gun. It's also kind of gaudy. It's a nice gun. It's gold and it has dollar signs painted on it. It's like Ego. Yeah, it it's like if Ego was a gun. It fires bullets of liberation. Alright, so that is another area done. Scratch cars, you dropped the list. Uh, thank you for joining me today, Amish. Next time on House of Fail, uh, you know what? I think we can take ourselves a little holiday. Next time we're going to Monty Picchu. <laughs>